Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at some abstract ways of adding multiples of 6, 7, 8 and 9. And we're going to do that using both addition and subtraction to help us. I'm going to show you both of those ways and you can choose the one that you like the best. Let's take a look, shall we? We're going to start off by adding multiples of 6. So let's start at number 9. And just as like the others, I'll write down the number first and then draw an arrow to my next number. Now adding 6 quickly can be quite difficult, so it's actually easier to add 5, because we can all do that very fast. 9 plus 5 more is 14. Then to make it 6, we add one more. 15. So that idea of adding the 5 and then one more makes adding 6 very, very fast. Let's go again. 15, add 5, is 20, plus 1 more, is 21. Can you guess the next one? I'll give you 5 seconds. Or you could write it down like I'm doing. Let's have a go. 21, add 5, is 26. Add one more, is 27. So there I've just shown a sequence of four numbers where we've added six quickly each time by adding five and then adding one more. Let's have a go at seven. And I'll do this in a red pen so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna start at nine again and I wonder if you can work out what I'm gonna do. I'm going to start at 9, I'm going to add 5, which makes 14, but instead of adding 1 this time, I'm going to add 2. So that takes me to 16. Then I'm going to add 5, which, which takes me to 21. Then add 2 more, which takes me to 23. Then I'm going to do the same again. Add 5, which takes me to 28. Add 2 more, which takes me to 30. So you can see there, I have very, very quickly added 7. I wonder if you can do the next one. 30, add 5, is 35. And 2 more makes 37. So you can do this for adding seven to any number. Quick to add five and quick to add two. And I'm sure you've worked out how we're gonna do eight. Let's start at nine. We're gonna add eight. We're gonna add five quickly, which is 14. But this time, we're gonna add one more, 17. We're going to add 5, which takes 22, and add 3, which is 25. Then add 5, which takes us to 30, and add 3, which takes us to 33. Why don't you pick a number and try and add 6, 7, or 8 to it? The last one we're going to take a look at is adding 9. And this one actually has a very good pattern that you might notice at the end. I'll do nine again. Nine. Add five. Fourteen. Plus four. Is eighteen. Eighteen. 23 plus 4 to 27. 27 add 5 is 32. Add 4 is 36. So there's the four different ways of adding 6, 7, 8 and 9 using 
the add. See if you can do this, have a go with a few different numbers. Now let's take a look at a different way of adding multiples of six, seven, eight, and nine, but instead of using the add to help us, we're actually going to use the minus. We'll start off by counting the multiples of six. This time I'm gonna start at 115. Instead of adding five, I'll add 10. Because actually, that feels to me a little bit quicker. But to make sure I'm only adding six, I need to minus four, which will take me to 121. 121, add 10, is 131. Minus four, takes me to 127. Hundred and twenty seven add ten is hundred and thirty seven minus four takes me to hundred and thirty three. So if you find it easier to add ten quickly and then take away than to add five quickly and take away, this could be a strategy that will help you out. When adding seven is also very similar. But instead of minusing four you minus three. So 115 add 10 is 125. Minus three takes you to 122. 122 add 10 is 132. Minus three is 129. And 129 add 10 is 139 minus 3, which takes you to 136. So again, you're just in adding 10 and then taking a smaller amount away. To add 8 is very similar, but instead of taking away 3, we're going to take away 2. So 115 add 10 is 125 minus 2, 123. 123, add 10, is 133 minus 2, is 131. Then 131, add 10, is 141 minus 2, is 139. When adding 9, I feel like this strategy is the best of all because it's very, very easy to add 9 and take away 1. So, 115, add 10 is 125, minus 1 is 124. 124, add 10, is 134, minus 1, is 133. And 133, add 10, is 143, minus 1, is 142. So, when adding 9, adding 10 and taking away 1 is probably the easiest strategy. And I wonder if in this one you can notice a good pattern. And if I give you a bit of a clue, the pattern is in the ones. Maybe have a little think about that as you're having a go.